Just tell me a little bit, if you can explain me, uh, we were here a few days ago and this was all dirt. Sure. And uh, I heard that there's a football field underneath of this. Can, can you explain me that? Yeah, so our synthetic NFL football field uh, is still in place. We have laid a flooring protection system on top of that. Uh, above that, we laid a permavoid system, which allows us to give all the air and, and space you need underneath that. On top of the permavoid is a full sand profile, and then we put our grass on top of that. So what is underneath us is quite literally the FIFA-required specified operational system. So there's full irrigation, there's full vacuum ventilation and forced air systems underneath here. And then it allows us to have this natural grass, which is now rooting into the sand base. We've got the grow lights that are out here. So we're, we're quite literally replicating what FIFA needs in 2026 in an environment that allows us to test this and get all the data we need. And then we will go all the way through April 5th with the women's match against Brazil. We'll take it apart and then we'll have the Julian Alvarez concert in here about a week or so later than that. So all of those things are part of what we're trying to really understand and, and get the knowledge, the information, and the minute details of all of those pieces together so that we can host uh, World Cup successfully. And then also create the opportunity in which this system can be replicated for other soccer matches, not just World Cup, but other soccer that we want to have in here, as you've seen in the building. What makes it uh, FIFA approved? The the maintenance or, or the, 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 quality the, of the, grass? the design and the maintenance. So, uh, one, the grass species is a cool season grass species, which FIFA's pitch research team has recommended for our building and in our environment. Um, the irrigation system is to their specification. The goal, the goal mounts are to their specification. The sub air system was required by them. So, all of these things that, that FIFA would like to see consistency between all of their stadiums mm -hmm. to have, we have put in place and now we're functioning them to see how they work in our environment. So, you know, as a, as a open air but closed, you know, we have a roof system, a roof structure over us, we don't get direct sunlight. So we'll be different than what my, life may be. How the moisture works in our building will be different. Um, what Lumen Field in Seattle does and BC Place in Vancouver, although on the West Coast, they'll all have different things. So it takes, uh, it gives us the opportunity to test all these systems and really dial them into what our building needs and how grass will need to respond to it here in our, our stadium. Okay. Well, as far as the dimensions, uh, how are you guys planning to do that before the World Cup? Yeah, so in 24, spring of 24, we modified the seating bowl and we made it so that it's demountable. It was always large enough to hold a FIFA pitch, but FIFA wants the auxiliary space around it. So we modified the seating bowl last year to come out and give us the space. So this is phase two. Now we've put in the test pitch. So then in 26, we will go through, take out the seating bowl sections like we'd planned, build this to fill all that additional space. And then we'll have the full 68 meter by 110 meter pitch in here. And then we'll have all the auxiliary space they need around it. Yeah. As far as uh, a year from now, what, uh, as far as you, your department, what, what's the, the hardest work? Uh, you know, the, the hardest work is really happening now. This crew that's out here doing maintenance, they're using all the machinery. They're do using the FIFA required painting machines for the lines. So we're just wanting to learn how long does it take to get a light rig off? How long does it take to get on? If a light rig goes out, how do we change those light bulbs? All those little details are what they're focused on so that when 26 comes and we're doing a match essentially every three days, we're able to do what needs to happen and have a response already planned to what's gonna happen if there's an issue. Otto, um, uh, lastly, we saw in the um, Copa America a lot of security concerns. Sure. Are you guys taking into account all of that? Absolutely. Um, you know, we're gonna do some things differently as part of World Cup that we plan to put in place this year. So whether that's how we're scanning tickets, how we're setting up queue lines, we saw what happened with Copa, very much aware of those issues. Um, we love the energy, we love the passion of soccer fans and we want to make sure that we can make it a safe and easy accessible environment for those that are coming uh, with tickets so we're, we're going to look at all that and make sure that we can apply those learnings over the next international matches we host for 26. Excellent. Thank you. Of course.